What's up everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Today we are going to tackle on something different, something we haven't done yet. Normally our episodes go animal, exhibit, make it all pretty, it's functioning, you know, tip jar, tip jar, that's the end of the episode. Or like we do like a shopping center episode where it's like maintenance around the park and it's like food, drinks, food, drinks, concessions, end of episode. Today we're going to do something different. We are going to be diving into exhibit animals. So, whew, I can't believe it. We have this really weird, awkward space in the center here. And I was kind of beating my head on the walls thinking, what do we do with it? I don't know. Like, do we just fill it in with nature? And then I found something interesting that I hope you guys enjoy. So follow me as we take on exhibit animals. Okay, so here we are, and this is what I'm talking about. This weird space here that I really didn't uh, expect to have. It just kind of popped up, and I was like, ah, what do I do with it? I don't know. So we have our entrance here. We have this nice little welcome sign. It's still quite a f decent walk here, but I think a big picture, what we're looking at is this might be like the queue to like a ride like a train or maybe like one of those um ski lifts that to take you around the park because if we look at the big picture here look how much space we have to work with our zoo is tiny compared to what we can do so here we go let's concentrate in on this center piece here and this is what i found i found this terrarium exhibit so we're just going to go in and just plop it down right about there and let's go inside because i have no idea this thing looks so good oh my goodness look at this are you serious so it holds it looks like it holds two animals and it already has info boards and things of that nature we just have to build the paths in both sides Oh my goodness, yes, dude. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> now, where do we want this path to connect? I think just like an L off of this might be nice. Looking good. Okay, so there we go. We have our terranium down. Whoo! Unbelievable. Okay, so people can go in and out. Let's pick an animal. So how do we do this? I don't even know how we do this. It's empty right now. So this is for a boa constrictor? This is already set up for a boa constrictor. Are you serious? What is this one for? A goliath bird eater? What? Okay, so... <laughs> um... All right, so let's go ahead and get these things in here. So let's go into our exhibit training. Well, let's get the boa constrictors. And I don't know anything about them, so maybe we can go to the Zoopedia. Boa constrictors. One to two. Okay. Amazing. So we just need to get a male and a female. So... Let's go into the animal exhibit. We'll just pick up a male and a female. She's super fertile, but isn't gonna last very long. This guy's not very fertile, but lasts long. But we can't have, I guess, you know what? Let's go with two, I guess, fertile. I have no idea. Move this one to the zoo there. Beautiful, okay. This info board will set to the boa constrictor. Easy peasy. I wish there was like another one over here, but I think we can do that in habitat. It might be facilities. Where do we get our education boards? It's here. Okay, there it is. Exhibition. There it is right there. And we can set one right boom there. Set this to the boa constrictor. Look at that. There it is. The Goliath bird eater. That's unreal. Why is that not? Oh, I didn't. 
Okay, I'm dumb. I'm dumb, everybody. I didn't just, I didn't go down the list. There are more exhibit animals. Welcome to your new home. I hope you like it. There we go. And they are scheduled. Now let's go ahead and turn these info booths to the Goliath Bird Eater. What is this? Oh my goodness, look at this. An educational content board. We can talk about climate change. We can talk about um, ecotourism, deforestation. What should we pick? So let's go ahead and maybe ecotourism might be an interesting one. Desire to visit exotic and beautiful places has caused damage to environments across the world due to high amounts of tourism traffic. Oh, this could be very good. Uh, ecotourism aims to educate visitors on the environment and wildlife they are observing. This is absolutely perfect for our zoo. Okay, beautiful. So we have some ecotourism educational boards. We have animals coming in. Let's hit play to get these guys into our exhibit. That is amazing. Looking good. Oh, our first guest. And guess what? There aren't any animals in here yet. I don't think so. But enjoy our new exhibit anyhow. I hope you guys have a lot of fun. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll pause this up. Boom. And let's work on making this area just absolutely beautiful so i've got more blueprints here and i've got some fountains and all kinds of fun stuff so let's go ahead and put this decorative big fountain here in the corner let's kind of swerve it around i like it right there boom oh yeah oh yes so there we go we got that there's another fountain here that I think I might put. It's not really a fountain. It's kind of like a, uh, a just a statue, just a common statue. And we'll put you right there. Beautiful work. Now we have this back area to deal with. And what do we need to put here? All good, though. And I enjoy this here. Beautiful. We have another classic fountain here. Amazing. Let's see. Ooh, hello. New world nature scene. Interesting. Kind of. We put that maybe up here. Yes, we can. Oh, baby. Look at this. Look at this. Look at these. Just to kind of spruce up our zoo. I don't want it to look too busy. Um, a decorative peacock statue. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. Are we serious? Can we just like add that to the peacock? We'll just add it right there. Boom. <laughs> that's insane, dude. Oh, okay, here we go. That's something. That's something cute. And that fits our rock theme there. Uh huh. Digging it. Liking it. Yes. Okay. This is coming together. This is coming together nicely. Now let's just go into nature. And we'll be able to kind of, you know, spruce this up here with a bunch of bushes, maybe. Beach trees. That's looking nice. Possibly. Let's put them like maybe here at these corners. That makes sense. That does not make sense. Maybe we'll just have a patch of brumble bushes here. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that brumble bush. <laughs> Looking good. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. What else can we put? Maybe on the corners of here and here. One here and one. Eh, that doesn't make sense. Maybe one here for symmetry. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we got. Classic flower beds. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's looking fantastic right there. All right, so that's that's pretty good. Um, this here is a little bare. Kind of needs some sprucing up. I don't really like that tree. Ooh, no, not that one either. Maybe let's do some rock formations. That wouldn't be bad. Just 
have some random rocks. Yeah, so we can have this one kind of play off of this. So go up maybe, and then we'll place it. And then we can move this to kind of rotate at an angle there. Beautiful. That's interesting. Okay, look at that. That's nice. It's a nice little walkthrough. I don't mind that being so bare. This here is a little bit of bare space. So what are we going to put here? Let's go back into our nature. Am I going to miss anything? Oh, we can put topiaries. We can put topiaries. That's our backup plan. So let's go back up to our rocks. Where were our moss-covered rocks? Yes, dynamic rocks here. And I'm going to place you... Actually, I'm going to place you here for now. I'm going to move you. I'm going to move you out of the way for now. Now let's move you, buddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just want to shift you just a little bit just to give you some character and then here's here's the deal we are going to be moving oh moving you actually can we just we're just going to delete you because it's going to be easier if we go back into nature and then get that log again let's see let's we'll just type log that's not that's not giving me the search i wanted where was it it was like down towards the bottom before we got the topiaries. There it is. I like that. So we can... Just like that. Shift. Beautiful. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's see how that looks. People come out of the tortoise exhibit. They're like, oh man, those giant tortoises are so cool. Oh, yes! That is perfect there. Okay, great. So now, let's just fill it with some topiaries. So we'll go back into nature, and we'll go all the way down to the bottom. Because the topiaries are right here. Absolutely beautiful. Kind of manicure them. Let's see. Do we have any, like... Yeah, there we go. I'm just going to place these guys just around... Kind of just like as little like little Easter eggs, you know? As you're walking through, maybe we'll put like maybe we'll put a squirrel underneath this log here. That might be fun. We'll put another animal. Yeah. Not even sure what that is. That's a fox. Alright, so this is turning out to be pretty cool. Um Some perfectly round bushes. Why not? Oh, a topiary hedgehog? Yes, please. But it doesn't really make sense. Um, put one back there. Put a topiary tree here. But we want. I want to. I want. I want to make room for this topiary hedgehog. I don't. I just don't know where we're gonna put it. Maybe right there. That's kind of fun. Interesting. And this is fine here. I like that. All right. So, boom. We did it. Look at this. Our new exhibit. We're filling out some space here. Boom. You come in. There's some Easter eggs. Like, oh, don't. Like, where's the topiary hedgehog? You know, or where's, where's the rabbit? All right. And they come in here. And they see this amazing exhibit. Let's just hit play on this because I want these animals to get in there. I don't know if they are in there or not. I don't think they are. So the animals are inside. How do we figure out their welfare? Okay. Humidity. Okay, so now how do we change that? I don't know how to change that. Okay. Um... And temperature. So, could we go here? 
This is our exhibit. Hold on. I want to... I want to do the actual exhibit. Here we are. How do we do this? Temperature. Okay. So temperature, boom. We need to kind of go up. So we're right in there. Yeah, there we go. And then humidity as well. Let's go up. And I want it right in the sweet spot. Oh, that's a little much. Boom. Twenty-nine looks to be looks to be it. And look at that. Our welfare of our boa constrictors are a okay. Protester lady, I'm sorry, but get out of here. All right. So welfare on this one. Temperature is not right. So let's go into temperature. It's a little cold. We can raise that. We can easily raise that. Let's go. And let's get that temp. Let's get that humidity to like a perfect level. And the temperature as well. Give me, give me, give me two more degrees on that. Let's go, baby. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And look at that. We did it. Look at this. Now, the, I wish I had a before and after, but this filled up that space nicely absolutely beautiful now the one thing i am going to do is i am going to blah 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 go back to facilities i think i want to go into bins there it is bins and benches and we're going to stick with the new world bins beautiful we have some there we'll put them on either side just so these people don't litter all over the place and we're going to do the same here our guests are so so messy dude and we'll replace that beautiful work and i think that's gonna do it guys oh my goodness unbelievable that we put this together. I think that looks absolutely fantastic and beautiful. And if I was in a zoo and I saw that, I'd be like, let's go to the terrarium. All right. So one more look at this bad boy. Our fountains are working. Oh, my gosh, dude. This is absolutely crazy. You know, let's take it. Let's take a tour as if we were like a guest. Oh, like, let me get some food. Okay. And maybe some drinks. Oh, here we go. Let's go into the terrarium. Beautiful. I like... We sh maybe should have put a frog in there, but, like, it has a frog there, but the, the the exhibits weren't set up for a frog. They were set up for this tarantula thing. Which... Can we see them? I don't even see them in there. I'm trying to look all around. Do you guys see any spiders in here? Oh, there he is. There he is. No freaking way, dude. Look at that thing. That's crazy. And then if we go over here, let's see if we can find the pythons or whatever. I know there's snakes. It's the boa constrictors. Where would you be, boa constrictor? Oh, there he is. There he is. I don't know if you guys saw him. I'm going to try to navigate this. Everything's very sensitive here. Do you guys see him down there? Oh my gosh, dude, that's insane. <laughs> that is so cool. And the protesters are gone. We got the right temperature, the right humidity for these animals. We're telling everybody about ecotourism and how they can tour exotic places safely without destroying our planet Earth. We got the donation bin set up. I think this is a success. I really enjoy it. I hope you guys did too. That's where I'm going to end this episode. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this, hit that thumbs up for me. It really does help and I really appreciate the support. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Smash that bell for notifications on upcoming videos so you guys don't miss a beat. I also stream on Twitch Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. So go ahead and check me out there. Hope to see you guys in live chat. I'm out. Peace out. Be good.